In this video, I'm going to run through DAO Maker and specifically DAO Pad, which is their launch pad for new crypto projects. So I'm going to go through the process of signing up and I'm going to go through all the steps necessary to sign up to their launch pad and to pre-fund our account and actually apply for a new project. So if that sounds interesting, then uh, keep watching till the end. My name is Michael and I use my skills and experience as an ex-developer, tech visionary, investor and trader to bring you non-hyped information on how to generate profit and build wealth from cryptocurrency investing. So if you're keen to learn how to profit from what I believe is the greatest investment opportunity of this decade, then like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to know when I put out a new video. So just a couple of assumptions before we jump into the video. So you will need to have a MetaMask wallet and an Ethereum address set up on your MetaMask. Uh, you will need to also have DAO tokens purchased and moved to your MetaMask wallet. So don't go and buy those just yet because um, in order to work out how many you need, you need to actually understand how the DAO pad process works and how those DAO tokens are used in the launch pad process. So just watch the video for that. And the third one is to make sure that you've fueled your MetaMask wallet with USDC as well. And don't run off and do that just yet because you wanna watch the video and, and work out uh, how much USDC you need in order to pre-fund your wallet for the DAO pad process. So DAO pad is explained as venture capital recreated for the masses. And basically it's a, it's a launch pad. It does have a couple other elements to it, but that's what I'm gonna focus on today. And we can see there's actually a live and upcoming sale coming up for uh, Delta.Theta, which is a revolution in crypto derivatives trading, which closes in a couple of hours. So I'm actually gonna use that as an example to go through today. Now, uh, th this document covers the DAO pad participation guidelines. And this is a medium article, which we'll link in the video. And this basically walks you through what you need to do. So this is the document that we're gonna be following today. So the first thing you wanna do is to go to downmaker.com and log in or register an account there. So this is downmaker.com. You simply go to register and set up a, a new account and or you go and sign in if you have one already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now that we're signed in, we can go back and check step number two, which is to connect the wallet that you'd like to participate with. You can choose from MetaMask or Wallets Connect. So I do have a MetaMask set up. So I'll go up here to connect wallet, choose MetaMask, and it says my wallet has been connected. Number three is to pass KYC in order to register for any sale. Uh, and you'll do that by going to account and KYC. Now I already have completed that. So if you haven't, you can pause and do that step now. Otherwise we will continue. The next one is to pre-fund the account. So basically, depending on the project that you wanna go for, you have to actually pre-fund your account with um, the personal allocation here, which is, in this case, 1,000 USDC. So that didn't show up on the video properly, but basically what I did was click Add Funds, enter the 1,000 USDC, and then click Submit, and now that transaction is now pending approval after I have signed it. You also get another transaction come up here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more uh, gas so it goes through a little bit faster. Okay, so when that goes through, it'll now tell you how much you have pre-funded. Now, if you don't end up getting selecting for, for one of the Launchpad projects, you can withdraw this money or you can leave it in there for a future project. Okay, let's have a look at the requirements around staking because you do need to stake in order to earn what's known as DAO power, which you need to be able to enter any, any private sale. So basically there are two ways that you can stake uh, and this is the DAO token, okay? And you'll see here that this says one staked DAO is one DAO, DAO power. And if you do stake the DAO LP tokens, liquidity provider tokens, then they'll count as three times in the DAO power. Okay, now what is DAO power? So basically there are different tranches um, and you can work it out if you go into the project that you want to have a look at. We'll click into that. And once you're in the project, you click this participate button and then it'll tell you what the transfers are and the, the uh, appropriate DAO power. So trans one, 500 to 99, 1000 to, to 1,909, etc. 
Now, how this works is basically the higher the higher Dow power you assign to a project, the more likelihood that you're going to win the lottery or get or get an allocation uh, assigned to you. So, in this document, it does go through the different levels and it does give you an example down here as well. So, this says here that the sale has 150,000 USD total allocation. The personal allocation is 500 USD and there are 300 available winning spots. Then tranche number one would mean that you get a 3.7 chance of being picked. Tranche number two, 7.5. Tranche number three, 15. Uh, tranche number four, et cetera, et cetera. So basically the more Dow power, the more chance you're gonna get selected, okay? Now if you do get selected and you win the lottery, that Dow power is actually locked up for 15 days. Okay, so you, if you wanna go into multiple projects, and in this case, there is another project coming that I wanna go into, then you don't wanna assign all of your Dow power, okay? So, the first thing you need to work out is, is how much Dow do I need to buy and how much do I need to stake, etc. Now, in my case, I want to uh, get into at least trance number three, or at least I wanna have at least 2,000 Dow power so I can assign 1,000 basically to two different projects. So in that case, I could either buy $2,000 of Dow and stake that, or I could provide a liquidity uh, provider token and get three times the Dow power. Now, Dow, if I go to CoinGecko, Dow is currently $3 uh, per token. So, you know, if I needed 2,000 of those, I needed $6,000. Now, as it turns out, I have already bought my Dow. Um, and I have 680 tokens, and I am gonna do a liquidity provider uh, token, which would basically give me three times that 680, okay? So three times the Dow power when I use the tokens, and three times 680 uh, takes me uh, over 2,000, uh, takes me 2,040. So that would give me 2,040 Dow power to play with, okay? So the first thing we need to do is grab our Dow USDC token. So this has changed since I did the initial video, so please consider this an update. And if you did have Dow ETH tokens, then you will need to remove that liquidity and um, get the Dow uh, USDC tokens. So let's go ahead and do that. So obviously, well, firstly, in order to get a Dow USDC token on Uniswap, you need to first own the Dow tokens, and I do have 680 ready to go, and you need to have the equivalent amount of USDC in your MetaMask wallet as well. Now, how much USDC you need does depend on how many Dow tokens you are putting in. So let's have a look at how we work that out. So on Uniswap, you'll typically end up or start on the swap page. What you wanna do is click on the pool page, and this will default to version three liquidity, but what we actually want is version two liquidity for this. So we click on version two liquidity, we click on add V2 liquidity, and here we'll add our DAO tokens. So you can see there's 680 of those, and we need to um, have USDC on the other side of this two side of liquidity. So I do have 1,021 USDC in there, but basically what we wanna do is match the DAO, number of DAO tokens. So if I click match, it'll tell us exactly how much USDC we need in order to supply at the moment. Just one thing as well, if, you, if your DAO token uh, doesn't actually show up in this list, you may actually need to add it as a custom token. So if you go to CoinGecko, click DAO Maker, or search and click DAO Maker, you can click this copy over here, which will be the Ethereum address for the DAO token. And if we come back in here, you can just paste it in. And if it's not there uh, already, it'll ask you to add it. So let's go and do that again. USDC. Click max on that, and then we'll supply that liquidity. We'll hit confirm supply. We'll be asked to um, to sign a transaction. I'll just up the gas so it goes through a little bit quicker. Click confirm. That has been submitted. Okay, that has gone through. We can see that uh, that has been added as liquidity. And down here, we now have a Dow USDC position uh, where we have 680 Dow and 980 uh, USDC. So we're now ready to go back to the Dow Maker platform. And so what you wanna do is you wanna go to dowmaker.com slash vault, and it'll even tell you that the staking uh, has moved to V2 vaults, uh, which is basically what we're doing now. We're, we're gonna be adding our, our LP tokens 
to one of these um, um, vaults. Now, they do have a selection of vaults now. So basically how it works is we can deposit our DAO USDC tokens to any of these uh, vaults and we'll earn a percentage of rewards in that token. Okay, so we could uh, earn 42% of DAO, 0.08% um, of evolution, convergence, 426 are quite high, yield quite high, uh, and open ocean, oh, sorry, it's down here, because you can either stake the DAO directly or the DAO USDC token, which we're gonna do to get three times the DAO power, okay, which is gonna be used when we're registering for launch pads. So what you, ideally what you wanna do, and I would encourage you to do this, is to go through and research each of these to decide um, which one you would like to go in. These have higher um, APYs, but if you have a look at the token price, they have gone down and flattened out quite low. So um, uh, not the best value for money necessarily. You get a whole lot of tokens, but may not be worth a lot because there's a lot of sell pressure on those tokens. I actually had a look at this open ocean um, project, which is pretty cool basically an aggregator for crypto trading. So I'm pretty happy to, to use this. Uh, so basically uh, you click on that, we will, uh, you have a look through the project. If you wanna have a look at anything specifically, I would recommend you to do so. Then once you have completed your research, you'll click on stake down and you'll see that you can either stake the DAO directly or we can stake our DAO USDC tokens, which is what we want to do. We want to stake our DAO USDC tokens. So we then go down and click on stake. We click max here. Uh, and it does say that there's a 10 day unstake period. So if you do want to unstake, uh, you just need to wait 10 days or you cop the 10% fee, okay? But we're going to look to hold this in here for the foreseeable future. So we'll click confirm on that. We'll then ask us to sign that transaction. Again, about $1.13 at current gas prices. May just put that through fast um, so that we um, don't have to wait too long for that to go through. Once that goes through, you will be asked to sign another transaction, which is actually the, the one to deposit this. So I'm going to bump up that again and we'll confirm that. Okay, so once that goes through, uh, it will say that we have our LP token staked and we've already started earning the token for Open Ocean. Um, if we do want to swap to another pool, um, we can at any stage as well. Okay, if you do want to, if you change your decision on who you want to actually uh, earn tokens with, you can easily uh, easily move that. Okay, otherwise we're going to be earning 125% in Open Ocean on the amount that we staked, which was around. Uh, $2,000 US. Okay, so the last thing to do is just to check um, if you click on portfolio, then it'll take us to our portfolio page and we can see now that we have our 2,040 DAO power. Okay, so we're getting basically three times our DAO tokens and we can now use that to register for a Launchpad project uh, with our pre-funded deposit that's already here set to go. Okay, last but not least is actually is registration and DAO power allocation. Okay, so this is basically where we'll go and we'll find the project that we want to apply for. Let's just go back and go back to the home here, have a look at the live upcoming sales. And this Delta dot theater is the one that we're gonna apply for. So we click research and participate. Cool thing about the DAO Launchpad is it gives you a whole bunch of uh, information, investment information for you to review everything before you make a decision. I've already had a look at this, happy to participate. So we click the participate button. And if we scroll down, we'll actually get this little checklist. So if all of these are ticked, it means you've done everything right. Uh, if, if one of them or more of them isn't ticked, then it'll give you an instruction there, an indication of what you need to go and fix. So I mentioned that I'm going to go. I'm going to be going into two projects which are within probably three or four days of each other. So if I do win this uh, allocation for Delta Dot Theta, then it's going to basically stash my Dow Power away for 15 days. So I don't actually want to use all of that up. So I think what I'm going to do is um, just use half one each. Uh, if we just go back to portfolio, I'll just open that in a new tab. Just double check what I had in there. Now the transfers here say 1,000 to 1,999. I assume the higher you are in that tranche, 
the more chance you get selected, but I'm just gonna make sure I get in that trance. So we're gonna get at least a thousand. Um, and under my portfolio, I'll just click that again. We have 2026, so we'll do 1013. So if we go back here, click participate. So it needs to scan your wallet and it says we fit all the requirements. We can continue to the next step. This will be, um, looks like a disclaimer or, or terms of conditions. It's gonna have a quick, quick flick through that. Nothing out of the ordinary there for me. So I'm gonna tick agree and continue. And here's where we decide how much you wanna spend. So apologies for the video it cut out there, but I did enter the 1013 DAO and I did click submit and it took me to this page that basically says, uh, you're participating in the lottery. You've allocated 1,013 Dow power with your wallet. Uh, you got your 1,000 USDC. And in case of a win, your deposit will be used as investment. No further actions required. We'll receive uh, our tokens. And then in case of a loss, we'll return the full deposit. So, so that's the whole process for signing up to DowPad from DowMaker, setting up your account, registering funding, and applying for uh, an, ID, an IDO. So hopefully that was uh, very useful for you. Cheers.